it's Jordan here, and welcome to my installation tutorial for a full port USB 3.0 PCI Express times one card. Okay, to start off with, we want to download the drivers. Now, the chipset for my USB card is a VLI VL800. Uh, this may be different depending on what card you have. So please check on the box to see what your chipset is. Okay, after you've typed that into Google, um, the first result VL800 VL801 VLabs.com. So we want to go there. We want to go to the download section here, drivers. Then you want to scroll down until you see this host driver here. If you are running on Windows XP, or Windows Vista, 32-bit or 64-bit, then you'll need the uh, USB host controller driver 4.00B, released on April the 19th, 2013. Now, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, they may update compatibility with the latest driver, but at the moment, you'll need this for XP or uh, Vista. Now, if you're running Windows 7, 8, or 8.1, 64-bit or 32-bit, you will need the USB host controller driver 4.30A, released November 12, 2013. Now again, depending on when you're watching this video, the, release, the latest driver may be different. So I've already downloaded this. It will come in a uh, zip folder. Once, you are, once you've got it in the zip folder, you want to extract it, then that's alrighty. So now I'm going to switch over to my other camera and show you the installation of the card. Okay, now I'm at my PC. Uh, I'm ready to install my card. To minimize the risk of damaging your PC, you want to, if possible, get an anti-static wristband and an anti-static mat to go with it. When you purchase your device and it's been shipped to you, it may come in a anti-static bag. So when it's been shipped, it doesn't damage it. Uh, this particular card is going to be installed in the PCIe Express uh, slots. When you have these PCIe Express slots, you may you have these slots in the back. Uh, you'll need to take the screws out with either a screwdriver or with these ones they're thumb screws. After you've done that, you want to take the actual plate off. They just slot out. Then you need to line up the express slot lane so that it slots in nicely. Okay, after you've plugged that back in, you want to get your thumb screw and then screw it back in so it's uh, secured. Once you screw this in, then you'll need to give the device power. You'll need one of these uh, four pin Molex cables. So once you've got that plugged in, you're ready to put the uh, case back on. Ready to put the power back in. I'll turn it back on. Now I'll meet you back in the PC to show you about the drivers. Now that we've installed the hardware, uh, we want to come to our driver update. Then, if you're running Vista 7, 8, or 8.1, you will need to run this as administrator. If you're on XP, you'll just need to open it. So, I'll run as administrator. Our UAC will come up. I'll click yes. This may not show up on video. Uh, 
when this prompt comes up, uh, this will install the Windows XHCI driver. You want to click Next, then it will w install. You need to wait for this. Uh, sorry, Next. Then we want to agree to the license. If you don't agree, obviously don't click I agree. We want to keep this text uh, box and click next again. Then when it says installing components list, we want to click next again. Then again, we have to wait for this installation to take place. After that is done again, installation start status. We want to click next again, click finish. Wait for this to finish. Then after this has happened, you will need to restart your computer. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.